Letter forty three of Selected Letters of Saint Jane Francis de Chantal. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Rosemary Curriming. Selected Letters of Saint Jane Francis de Chantal by Saint Jane Francis de Chantal. Letter forty three. To Madame du Tertre. Vive Jesus. Paris, 11 August, 1620. My very dear daughter, having a little free time, I make use of it to beg of you, in the name of God, to accept the judgment of the Bishop of Geneva, to whom you have referred this affair, and who considers that what was so deliberately settled on the house of Nevers should remain with that house. You, my dearest daughter, ought to be indifferent about such matters, so long as we give you all you desire. Why should you trouble as to what use we make of your gift, since quite sufficient is provided for your maintenance? If you keep to your holy desire of living amongst us, and giving yourself entirely to God, you must, if you please, trust His Lordship, and show that you are satisfied with His decision. As for us, we desire neither lawsuit nor contention, and a hundred times would we prefer to return all you have given us, rather than retain it, with the least accompanying unpleasantness. For we value peace, with holy poverty, incomparably more than all the goods this world can give us. The Bishop of Geneva will not disclaim what I now say to you. I am a little surprised that since his letters have arrived we have received no news except that much pressure is being brought to bear on our sisters of nevers to induce them to return the money they have received it is their bishop tells me this you understand my very dear daughter that if you desire to persevere as i believe you do you must please now that you are acquainted with the views of his lordship of geneva cease to discuss this matter our poor sisters of both houses are sorely afflicted at having to give ear to a style of conversation with which they are unacquainted. Peace is more to them than such things. Let them have it, then, I pray you. Believe me, always yours, etc. End of letter 43